Okay, here we are again, and I've hooked up a bridge rectifier across the output. Let's actually go over the entire circuit for you. I freshly charged these batteries so they are fully charged, so I can get an accurate measurement of my input and output and all that. Well, not really my output, just the voltage. I want to know that I'm not operating more than what these capacitors should handle, which it's quite possible I am. Uh, but from what the bridge rectifier tells me, you know, it tells me what it tells me. Anyways, here's the circuit. Um, 500, watt, 500 volts across here split between, or thereabouts, between three bulbs so I don't blow up the bulbs. Um, I've hooked up, I've simplified this, I ex expanded it all so that it can easily be understood. I hooked up the feedbacks here that take the output back into the resonator. This is one feed here with two bulbs on it. And the other feed is over here with two bulbs on it. And the reason I've done this is because I'm going to double this now into my figure three of my diagram. But for right now, we're gonna demonstrate this and get the voltage so I can do some calculations for the capacitors, which I have all ready to go um, so that we don't damage them. Okay, so this is the network I have. This is the three capacitor refined circuit. So you have the feedback coming off of this wire and the feedback coming off of this wire going back into the central capacitor right here across the two. And then I have the feedback from the output up here and the feedback here from the output up here coming back into the resonator. So that's how the resonator is wired on this side. Now I'm going to mirror that over on this side. I will put another five capacitors. But right now I wanted to demonstrate the voltage I'm getting. I wanted to show you, this is at full power. We'll turn the system on. It's putting out 478, 76 volts, but I am pulling a big load, right? So these bulbs can be substituted for resistors or can be taken right out of the circuit. As such, I did here, I took them right out of the circuit. So that allows the resistance to be set by the load that it's running. Um, which could be or could be a good thing or maybe might not be a good thing depending on the situation so basically where the output is here is where the mirror starts of that the other capacitor network is over here this no longer takes the output energy it takes it and puts it into a capacitor and bounces it back to this side and that side bounces it back to this side and so forth at very high frequency and the magnetics are tapped off of the ring here. So we initialize it with the ZVS is the finalized design. And then we harvest it either on this coil or whatever coils are wound in and about that core because the magnetic field is transferring electric, magnetic, electric, and back and forth in oscillation in a figure eight at whatever frequency we've locked the device at or chosen with the resistance of the device for the resonator to operate at and the frequency um, the fundamental frequency of the zvs to operate at anyways have a great day i'm going to wire this next figure three in my diagrams up